You know who doesn't get enough credit? The American soldier. They volunteer their time. They go into uh, military service. They inconvenience themselves on a regular basis so that we can have freedom. And they protect this nation. They go to the ends of the earth to do it. And they're willing to die for us. Uh, a soldier is quite a special breed of people. That's right. Hi, I'm Shauna. This is my husband, Pete. We're Gallahue Family Discipleship. We're both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we invite you into our home every day to study the Bible with us through uh, blogs and through video devotions. So uh, today we are actually continuing our study on 2 Timothy. We're in chapter 2, and I'm going to read verses 3 and 4, and we'll get started with the discussion. It says, Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. So here the Apostle Paul tells Timothy that the life of a Christian is like that of a soldier. And he points out two things. He says, no one as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, and their job is to please the commanding officer. So as Christians, how do we apply that to our lives? Well, one thing we have to realize is that if you're in the Lord's Army, right? Remember that song, I'm in the Lord's Army. Yeah. I'm in yeah. the Lord's army. For onward Christian soldier. Right. Well, if, if you're in the Lord's army, then there's obviously things that you need to be doing. And then there's things of this world, which we would call civilian affairs. If you're a, a soldier in the military and you're uh, given a commission to guard an artillery, uh, you don't go out in the middle of the night and go get an ice cream. It's right. True. That's civilian affairs. Or you don't go to the movies with your friends. Mm -hmm. Right, because your responsibility is to guard. Well, as Christians, there's there's a, a book uh, referred to as the Bible that gives us commands as the way we're supposed to live our life, especially the teachings of Jesus Christ, and that tells us to separate ourselves from certain things of this world. That's right. You know, every civilization is familiar with the art of war and understands the importance of a soldier. And a committed soldier is definitely what everyone wants on their side. You want a committed soldier uh, defending uh, your territory and your freedoms. And uh, you don't want someone who is lackluster and uh, has their mind and their focus on something else. Um, and God is asking us to be a committed soldier. He's asking us to stay focused and not to have our goals and our aspirations toward things that are temporary and things that are worldly. He's saying, look, uh, the Apostle Paul says, you know, join with me in my suffering as a soldier of Christ Jesus. And it is not an easy thing to do. Any soldier can tell you that being a soldier is not an easy thing to do. Not everybody can do it. That's why everybody don't do it because right. it's difficult. <laughs> right. And the thing is, you can't get distracted, right? You've got to stay on point. You've got to stay on mission. You know, as believers, God has a purpose and plan for all of our lives. I believe that completely and wholly, that he has direction that he wants us to live our lives in. He has ministry for all of us. And we have to get focused upon that and continue in that and neglect the things of this world because they will distract you. And then he goes on and says, you know, that, that a soldier tries to always please their commanding officer. Who's our commanding officer? That would be God. God, right? Well, I would say the Holy Spirit is our general, right? He deals with us and speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. And we have to be obedient to that. Mm -hmm. uh, so many times uh, it is easy for us to neglect what God is telling us to do or to put off what God is telling us to do. And uh, we have to be good soldiers in understanding that when we're giving a order from our commanding officer, we're to fulfill that order. We try to teach our children all the time, be obedient, mm -hmm. right? Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, right? To show your love to God, you will be obedient to his calling. You will be obedient to what the Holy Spirit guides and directs you to do. And let's just always remember not to get in, entangled with things that are not uh, of God. Let's make sure that our hands uh, stay to the plow and we continue to push forward. Uh, knowing that there is a prize and a reward. Uh, make sure that we do all that we can to uh, recruit others into that army of God so that um, as that army rises up, that um, evil is continually defeated. So are you a faithful Christian soldier? Right. That's the question, right? Yeah. Are you living out the life of a Christian soldier? Are you following the orders? Are you staying out of civilian affairs? Or do you need to work on it? 
That's right. So we want ahead. you to remind you to yeah. live intentionally for Christ every day. That you exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and engage this world for Christ. You know, we're continuing our study on Second Timothy chapter two. Continue to read that with us every day. Uh, and uh, if you have questions, ask us. Uh, and if you have comments, something you want to add, let us know. So until next time, God bless.